Hi, today I'm going to talk about using animations in your events. Now you can get animations from lots of places. Uh, they tend to come as MP4 files or even animated GIFs or WMV files. Um, I'm going to work with um, MP4 files today. Let's have a look at some. So for instance, we've got a countdown animation here, which is basically a 3, 2, 1. And I've got some others like get ready and some reactions to photos. So let's see how we can use those. Now I've got a standard event here. It literally is just taking one photograph. We've got the get ready screen, a countdown screen with the standard countdown item. We have a take photo screen and the show photo screen and the thank you screen. So let's go to the get ready screen. Now, rather than have the camera showing and this get ready item, I'm going to delete both of these. So I select them with the mouse and press the delete key. Now I've just got a completely blank screen here and I'm going to add a video. Now you can then browse your computer for the files that you may have obtained. Um, now this is the get ready screen, so I'm going to add the get ready animation. So this is an MP4 file. I'm going to size it. Okay. Now I'm going to look at the properties for this screen. And as you can see, this screen has got a timeout of two seconds on the display time of two seconds, which means that this screen will appear for two seconds. Now that's not long enough for this animation. The easiest way to make sure that this screen times out and moves on to the next screen after this video has finished playing is to change the timeout property to on video item. Now what that means is that Right Booth will wait when this screen is showing until this video item has finished playing. Right, let's go to the countdown screen and I'm going to do exactly the same here. So I'm going to get rid of this countdown item. Now actually when I try and delete this, watch what happens. Press the delete key. Right Booth says that it needs this item. So I can't delete that one. I'm just going to reduce it down slightly, place it over here, delete the camera feed, and you can leave it on if you want, you can leave the camera feed, but I'm going to just add another video. This is the countdown video. Same thing, let's make this bigger. And if we look at the screen properties, so I'm going to click on the background again, and we can see that the timeout for this screen is on countdown, which is this item. So rather than do timeout on countdown, I'm going to do the same thing again. Timeout on video item. So what will happen now is that Right Booth will wait for this animation to finish before it moves on to the next screen. So it's going to ignore this, this item over here. Now, because I can't delete this item off this screen, right move is not letting me, I'm just going to zoom out, let's up here, and move this item off the screen itself. So it's still on this screen, it's just that you won't be able to see it when right move plays the event. Okay, let's try playing the event and see what happens. So play the event. I click the mouse to start. We get the get ready screen and right booth will play the whole of this video and then it will move on to the countdown screen. So that's now moved on to the countdown screen. We get the three, two, one animation happening. And then when that's completed, we'll get a photograph. So that's the first photo. It then thanks us and it returns back to the start screen. Now I'm going to do some more work on this. Let's go back into the editor. Let's go to the take photo screen. 
we need that to stay as it is so that the user can see themselves. Okay, let's go to the show photo screen. Now this time I'm going to show some video animations as well, but I'm going to do it slightly differently. So let's make some space for a video, add items. Now rather than add a video this time, I'm going to add a video sequence item. And here it is. Now the difference between a video item and a video sequence item is that you can have more than one video in a video sequence item. So let's just double click this. I'm going to choose to add some videos and I'm going to add these three videos, reaction one, two and three. And you can see them here. Now they're all pretty much the same, but they have a slightly different message. You look like a star, that's that one. This one is, you light up the room. And the third one is, you're a gift to those around you. Wow. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm only ever going to show one on this screen, but I'm going to have them showing randomly. So each time this screen appears, it will show one of those three videos. Let's make that a little bit bigger. So let's see if that works. Oh, actually, there's one more thing I need to do. Click on the background. Look at the properties. And again, the timeout is on video item. So you make sure that the timeout for this screen is on video item. So what that means is that this screen will show for as long as this video is playing. When the video is finished, it will move on to the thank you screen. So let's try that. Let's play the event again. We're at the start screen, click the mouse. We get the get ready screen. We get the countdown screen. And it's showing you look like a star. Thank you. Let's go back around to the start again. Now the next person arrives, they take a photo. Again, we go through the get ready screen. onto the countdown screen animation. And this time we get a different message. You light up the room. Right, let's go back into the editor. So just to recap, any screen can have an animation on it. So we've got one on the get ready screen here. That's a single video. It will always show this get ready. If you want to show different animations, then you need to add a video sequence item here. Countdown screen. That's again, it's got the same video animation every time. And you can change that with a video sequence item if you wish. And we've got the show photo screen. And this one is the one that's got the video sequence item with three videos in it. Right, I hope that uh, helps you with your adding video animations to your event. Thanks for watching.